it's a new day again and I'm here in Tiberius there is my hostel Tiberius hostel that's where I stayed yesterday night and this is what the place looks like in the day you have a lot of food outlets over here you have more apartments and houses up there on the top and yeah this is the place so now the plan is to go to Copernum, which is a place mentioned in the Bible and after that I'll be heading to Nazareth. Alright, so now I'm in Copernum. Copernum is actually a place from the Bible. This is a place where Jesus spent a significant amount of his time. But the beauty of this place is amazing. So there you go, you have the magnificent Sea of Galilee ahead of you. times over there you can see there look at how beautiful this place is so like I was saying um, Capernaum was essentially a hub between Damascus in the north and Egypt in the south. Both of these places were very important for trade and Capernaum came right in between and therefore this was a center of attraction or a center of this entire trading route for people and that's how you know it became very significant in the past and from then on for a long period of time it remained as a fishing village till the very end and I don't, I don't know what to expect right now but there are certain historical places you know we start from here also you know this place falls right between Tiberius to the left and Catherine to the right so here we are in the Tabga monastery the place where Jesus preached this entire place is mentioned in the bible where jesus had um, performed a number of miracles as well you, know, you have all of this information over here so this is the monastery from inside number of Benedictine monks and sisters this side over here there you have the church of the primacy of Saint Peter the church is presently closed because you know there are certain timings that you have to adhere to and here you have a very nice view of the Sea of Galilee ahead of you it's a huge lake that supplies water to the entire region all right so I found a small pathway along the bushes into this magnificent site here the Sea of Galilee stretching right ahead of you, you know it's so huge you can't even see the other side over there it's just a lake there over there is Tiberius here in the wilderness you know the interesting thing about nature is this that thousands of years back you know when perhaps Jesus was here he too must have seen it exactly the way that I'm seeing it right now or that you are seeing it right now in in the camera nature remains the same for thousands and even millions of years and 
that's how it must have been even back then. Wow. So they've built a beautiful pathway here along the sea. Perhaps this part of what they call the Jesus Trail. So guys, I just got down at Nazareth. This happens to be the largest Arab town in Israel and also a very significant place for Christianity because this is where um, Jesus said to have lived his childhood. And this is what it looks like today. Very, very different from what it must have been back then. I'll just take a quick round around uh, the place and then head over to Tel Aviv for the night. This in front is perhaps a better view of the place. You can see the entire hill. Right there up on top also there's some church or mosque, I don't know. You know, the place here reminds me of a place like Nikliot Ganj in India. It's, the terrain is very complicated. It's not a plain area. You have these small lanes with a lot of traffic. Now this happens to be the center of Nazareth and rightly so because right ahead is the cent uh, Church of Annunciation. This is what Nazareth looks like. Look at how beautifully the place is decorated. And this is the church. Basilica of Annunciation. So it, uh, it said that this is the place where Virgin Mary had her house and this is the place where it was told to her that she would be the mother of Jesus Christ. And now in place of her house, we have this giant church. Church of Annunciation. Let's try and get inside. This place is very well preserved over here and perhaps this is where they claim her house to be originally. So this was definitely a very important site in Nazareth, perhaps the most important site. This entire place. Pretty beautiful. Alright, so interestingly what we have over here are remains from the original village when Mary used to reside. This is all that's left of the place and the church has been built on top of it. The church is pretty recent, perhaps around 1969, but the place has a lot of significance. 
All right, so we are here at another interesting place. I don't know how important this is, but this is the well of Mary. That's what they say. Try to take it closer. This is what it looks like. And we are here at the place that's well decorated and you can also see what Nazareth looks like. A lot of historical sites here mostly to do with Christianity. I mean all of them to do with Christianity. This is the well of Mary and here we are. Hello everyone once again. Um, today happens to be my last day here in Israel. Three months of um, travel and research have finally come to an end. Going back to India tomorrow. And uh, last night I was here in Tel Aviv and this is what the scene is over here on a Thursday morning, sorry, a Friday morning. That's the hostel I stayed in, 180 Boutique. Everyone going about their lives as usual, like in our previous vlogs, some calisthenics. People jogging around, walking around with their pets. They've got a better view of the place from here. This road goes all along the coast. All the way to Jaffa at that end over there. So the plan now is very simple. I'll take a train back to Beersheba and then a bus to my campus. I have my luggage over there and tomorrow I'll be going back to India. Bye-bye.